Hey guys, it is declutter time. You know what it means when you see all this stuff laid out on my table like this. We are going to declutter some stuff. Let's get some things out of the way first. A lot of blushes here. I counted 90 blushes. 90, 90 on the dot, okay? So unnecessary. You don't need 90 blushes. Don't go out and buy 90 blushes, okay? Don't be crazy like me. Learn from my mistakes. But some of these are pretty old. Some of these are newer. Some of these I love. Some of these I don't even touch. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of the ones that I do not mess with and um, yeah, we're gonna make some room in my collection because it's just getting crazy y'all We are getting closer to the end. I know you guys really 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 wanted to see a lip declutter that is coming up next I promise I'm actually gonna prep it right after this video. I just Oh, that's gonna be so much. <laughs> so I wasn't ready for it yet So I decided to do this instead, but a lip declutter will be the next declutter video that you see Next order of business, my nail, okay? It looks a hot mess, it broke on me. Do not pay attention to that, okay? Just don't even worry about it. That's not even any of your business. Don't even worry about it, all right? You don't need to pay attention to my nail. So, if all of that is out of the way, let's get into it. All right, you guys, so first things first, we're gonna start with these Wet n Wild Fergie blushes. I actually have three of them here. I have this one in the shade Around the Clock. No, that's not what it's called. It's called Brush with Danger. It's just a nice pink shade. Um, I never use these Wet n Wild blushes. This one is not even open. Oh my Lord, this one isn't even open. So we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. I'm also going to get rid of Brush with Brilliance, that looks like that. I have used that a couple times, but just not enough to justify keeping it. And then I'm also going to get rid of this one and it is called Brush with Destiny. So all three of those are on my goodbye list. All right, so just to get it out of the way, let's talk about some that we are keeping. I have the NARS little mini, oops, little mini blush here in the color Gulu. And this was like my VIB Rouge gift. It's so pretty. So I'm definitely, definitely keeping that. It's just super, super gorgeous. And then I'm, I'm keeping all my NARS blushes. I'm keeping the, what is this? Orgasm, which is an amazing blush. You guys have seen a million times. I'm keeping Luster, which is another blush that I just really, really love. And then I'm also going to keep NARS Sin. Sticking with the keepers, I'm also going to keep this Natasha Denona blush. I actually just got this little blush and highlighter duo. I really don't like the highlighter, but the blush I love. So, of course, I'm keeping that. And I'm also going to keep these Kylie blushes that I also just got as well. All right, you guys, that freed up a bit of space. Let's go through these other Wet n Wild blushes here. Um, I actually have a broken one in pearlescent pink. I don't even know why that's still in my collection, but obviously that is trash. Then I have these four here. These are the Color Icon blushes. I am going to get rid of definitely this one in Rose Champagne. This color barely even shows up on my skin. And then... I'm going to actually get rid of this one, Berry Shimmer. Um, I don't know, I've had it for a while and I just really don't love it, but I will keep these two in Heather Silk and Mellow Wine. Sorry if the lighting is creating a flare, you guys, but I'm gonna keep those. Let's do some more keepers. I'm keeping this Laura Geller blush. I really, really like it. Super, super cute. So I'm definitely going to keep that. This is the Blush and Brighten in Apricot Berry. It's one of my absolute favorites. And I'm actually going to also keep my two Becca blushes. This one is in Wild Honey. Actually, I don't even really love this blush. I don't even really love this blush. I'm going to go ahead and, and get rid of this Becca blush. I think I've used this like one time, if that. But I am definitely going to keep Damselfly. This is one of my favorites. I definitely know that I can get rid of these four cream blushes. The one is the Balm in Stain. I think I only used this one time. Actually, this is the powder. But it's like a little sample and I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. These I don't think I ever use. No, you know what? I did use this, didn't I? I think I just swatched it actually. This is the Pure Cosmetics Cheek Stain Rosé. 
definitely going to get rid of that. Cream blushes are just not my thing. Then the Wet n Wild Light Up My Hibiscus Cream Blush. And then I'm also going to get rid of this little sample here. This is the Josie Marin Argan Infinity Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil. I never even opened that. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of those. Next on the list, I have these ColourPop blushes. The first one is in the shade Pegacorn, which I don't think I'm going to use very often, but I want to keep it just for a little bit longer. And then this one I really like. This one's in the color Never Been Kissed, and it is just really, really, really beautiful. So you guys know ColourPop's formula is awesome. Their pigmentation is just awesome. So I'm going to keep both of those. I'm also keeping this Kat Von D blush. This is in the shade Hardogram. One of my favorite blushes ever. It's just super pigmented and beautiful. So I'm going to keep that. Here's one I can get rid of. This is the Wet n Wild's Mega Glow Illuminating Powder. It says illuminating powder, but it's definitely a blush on my skin tone. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I never ever use it, so I don't see the need in keeping it. Another thing that I can get rid of is this blush by The Balm. This is in the shade Frat Boy. It's a pretty color. I like it. Just don't use it. So it has to go. Here's another keeper. This one isn't even open. This is a brand new blush from Makeup Revolution. And it is called Fusion. So I'm going to keep that. And I'm also going to keep this MAC blush. This was from the Simpsons collection a few years ago. And it's called Sideshow You. And the packaging is just so pretty. I don't use this at all, but the packaging is so cute. This is like a collector's, so I'm going to keep this. Just look how cute it is. Oh, you guys, this is getting tough. Let's go. Here's another one I can get rid of. This is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics. It is a mineral blush in Desert Rose. I have never used this, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I believe it came in like a monthly subscription box, but I'm just not going to use it, so we're going to go ahead and toss that. One I will be keeping though is this Black Radiance blush. This is in the shade Plum Sorbet. I think this is so cute and this blush only costs a couple of bucks and I just love it. So I'm going to keep that one. All right, so now let's go through some of these NYX blushes over here on the side here. Let's go through some of them and see what is what. So I bought these. I probably had these blushes for about five years and oh gosh, it's been so long. I haven't reached for them in years, I can say. This one's in the shade Desert Rose. Look how cute that is, though. Oh, my God. It's so pigmented. Look at it. Right there. You guys. Okay. I'm going to keep this one. I can definitely get rid of this orange. I'm, I, I'm not going to wear orange blush anymore. So I can get rid of that. You know what? This one in Pinched doesn't have enough pigmentation for me. So I can definitely get rid of that one. I don't need another pink blush, even though this was pretty. This was the one in Bougie Pig. Oh my God. These are so pigmented, you guys. If you haven't tried these, go pick them up. But I'm gonna get rid of that one too. This one in Silky Rose, I feel like I have like 10 blush colors that look like this. So I'm gonna let that one go. I'm definitely gonna let this one go in the shade Copper. I'm just, I'm not feeling that. So I'm gonna let that go. What else do we have here? Amber. Oh, that's cute. What do you guys think? That is cute. Okay, Amber is like a little more subtle. Let's keep Amber. Let's keep Amber. And then I have this one in Summer Peach. How do we like Summer Peach? Oh, Summer Peach feels really dry and it doesn't feel that pigmented. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these six right here and I'm only gonna keep two they gotta go all right let's do this we are trudging along here is a lone Revlon photo ready cream blush again I already told you guys I don't use cream blushes like ever so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that blush I think I can also get rid of these two elf blushes they're pretty I just never reach for them this one's in pink passion and this was such a cute blush. I remember buying that. That's in the color Pink Passion. And this one is actually in Peachy Keen. Very gorgeous color. So if you're looking for good affordable blushes, these are only three bucks and they're super, super gorgeous. But I'm going to go ahead and declutter them both along with the Revlon. All right, this Jordana stack has been about to fall for like ever. So let's just go ahead and put it out of its misery. 
this was like my favorite one, Tawny Beige. I remember wearing this so much, but I don't need it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter all of these. These are actually great affordable blush options as well. You know what, I can't get rid of all of them. How about this? Let's keep Redwood. Let's keep Redwood. That's really pretty, right? Let's keep that, because I want to keep these. These are really pretty. Let's also keep, no, we'll just keep Redwood and I will get rid of the other four. Next I have the Sephora blush. This is my only br blush, I can't talk. This is my only blush from the Sephora brand, so I want to keep it just in case I do any Sephora brand tutorials, but um, yeah, I, I like this blush, it was cool. This is in the color Healthy Rose. Then I have some blushes from Coastal Scents. These were so pigmented and so pretty. I just have nowhere to wear any pigmented blushes like this. I guess I can keep them for when I do other people's makeup, but that's really not that often. You know what? In case I do a deeper skin tone girl's makeup, I'm going to keep this one in Graceful, but I am going to get rid of this one in Charming. We have to be through half of these, guys. I, oh, my God. We have to be at least through half of them. Oh. <sighs> I'm actually going to keep, I was going to get rid of it, but I'm actually going to keep this little blush palette. This is the little three color City Colors blush palette. And so I love City Colors blushes. They're really, really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and keep those. But it actually has the color Guava in it, which I have the color Guava, right? Why do they look so different? So this is supposed to be Guava. Does this not look super different to you? I was going to declutter the full size guava. That does not look the same to me. Okay, I'm going to keep both of them. And then I have some more. This mosaic blush I've never even used. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it because I haven't reached for it. This one is in the color Fresh Melon. This one is actually in that palette as well. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Papaya is actually a really cute shade, but I don't think it has that much pigment. It doesn't. I can get rid of papaya. All right, let's do some Urban Decay. I have two of these Urban Decay Afterglow 8-Hour Powder Blushes. This color I should have never bought. I just don't like how it looks on my cheeks, and it's just really light skin for me, and I'm just not into it. So I can declutter that one. And then I have the shade Rapture, which I do love. I told you guys I have like 80 million blush colors like this, but I love them so much, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. This is a really great blush formula also. I can get rid of this little cargo blush. I've had this forever. I barely reach for it just because the pan is so small and it gets lost in my collection. So I can go ahead and let that go. I'm also gonna let go of this NYX Illuminating Bronzer in the color Chaotic. This is actually a blush color. I don't know why they call it a bronzer, but I'm gonna go ahead and let that go. Here is an e.l.f. blush. This is in the shade Wanderlust. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. This was in my favorites video not too long ago. I really, really, really like this blush. I have here a sleek blush palette. This is in the shade, this is the blush by three and it's in the shade lace. And this has some really, really crazy oranges that I will just probably never ever wear. So as beautiful as they are, I'm gonna go ahead and let them go. I can also let go of this Lorac blush. This is in the shade Plum. I bought this off Holt Look a while ago and I've used it. I just, I, I just don't really reach for it anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and toss that one. But I will be keeping, these are three of their newer blushes. These are the Buildable, what are these called? The Buildable Blush Colors. And I have the Matte Shade in Technicolor. I have the satin shade in infrared, and then I have another matte shade in chroma, and those will all stay with mama. We are down to my absolute favorite three blush brands. That is why I have so many of each. We're, these are my three favorite blush brands ever, and we're down to them, so I need to make some tough, tough, decisions okay let's start with drugstore let's start with milani <coughs> and let's see what we have here the first is this milani powder blush this is in the shade F flora passion how pretty is this though how do you get rid of this how cute was even the packaging gosh 
It's just so nice and subtle. I want to keep that. This one's in Romantic Rose. And oh, this is the shade I love, you guys. Gosh. I'm going to keep both of these right now. I can't. I don't have it in my heart to get rid of them. So I'm going to keep both of these right now. I'm also going to keep... Actually, I can let go of this blush. I forgot what this one's called. Bronze something. I forgot what this one is called, but this is one of the Milani Baked Blushes. This is one of my favorite blush formulas ever. But I'm going to get rid of actually this one. And I, I'm sorry, you guys. I have no idea what it's called. But I'm going to also get rid of Coralina because, again, I'm not going to wear an orange shade on my cheeks. I'm just not. And this one is super glittery, so I'm just going to let that one go. These other four, though, they stay with me. This is Berry Amore. This is Red Vino. That is Fantastico Mauve. And then this one is, of course, what is this one called? Luminoso, which is like everyone's favorite blush here. All right, down to the last two brands. I think I'm going to go with Tarte first. I don't have it in my heart to, <laughs> to touch the MAC yet, so I'm going to go with Tarte first. I am definitely keeping these first two full-size ones. These are the Amazonian Clay Blushes. This one's in Blushing Bride. Very, very gorgeous, like purpley color almost. So pretty. And then I have Dazzled, which is another color that almost looks similar to it but I'm gonna keep both all right let's look at these little ones here we have the shade daydream that's pretty I didn't think it was gonna be that pretty I forgot what they look like stellar stellar still has the damn plastic in it so I didn't even touch stellar I can go ahead and get rid of stellar it's cute but I can get rid of it this one is sincere Ooh. Keeping sincere. This one is classic. Do we like classic? Classic is not pigment enough for me, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of classic. Surprised. What do you guys think about that one? Ooh, I'm keeping that this one is parte and this one was limited edition I remember it came with something and it was limited edition oh but that's kind of ugly on my skin tone so I'm gonna go ahead and let that one go a more a more is just a bit lighter than this one it looks really similar though and I don't love how it shows up on my skin tone, so we can get rid of a more. Prim. I think I liked Prim. I did. Yeah, we're keeping Prim. The last tart blush that I have here is Supreme. It's pretty orangey. Let's keep it. So I'll keep five and get rid of four here. Okay, you guys, so our absolute last set of blushes are my MAC blushes. They hold a special place in my heart. I just love MAC, so let's let's be gentle. Let's get through this. The first one is in the shade Warm Soul, and it's my only MAC blush that I have the new packaging in, and I did not even really love this. It just didn't have enough color for me. But I swear I saw black girls talk about it and they was acting like it was the best thing since sliced bread. But this just really didn't have enough color for me. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Warm Soul. One that I know I'm definitely keeping is actually the shade Lovejoy. I think this is one of my favorite blushes like ever, ever, ever in life. It's just so gorgeous. So I'm keeping that one. Mocha is also one of my favorites. It's just one of my favorites on the cheeks for the fall time. So I'm going to keep that one. I am also going to keep Melba. That's another favorite of mine. Oh, Dolly Mix. This was my second high-end blush I ever bought was Dolly Mix. And I don't love it anymore. It's so shimmery. 
So I'm going to get rid of Dolly Mix. This is the first, you guys, the first high-end blush I ever bought was this right here. And this is Pink Swoon. I have had Pink Swoon for so long. Oh my God. Can I get rid of this? It's just so pink and pretty and girly. I got to keep Pink Swoon. Pink Swoon stays. But I can get rid of Dolly Mix as well as um, Warm Soul. with 42 blushes that I am decluttering. So I am super proud of myself. I got rid of almost half of my collection. I had 90, got rid of 42, which leaves 48, I believe. So um, we did really, really well today. I just, I don't reach for any of these blushes. I probably could have honestly got rid of more, but some of them I just, they have a special place in my heart, so I'm like, I gotta keep them. But um, I got rid of half the collection, which I think is pretty well, pretty good, I'm sorry. I do not really buy blushes anymore just because I have so much. I don't buy many blushes anymore, so I feel like what I have now is at least a workable size, at least for me. And I got rid of like some high-end blushes. Like sometimes it's harder for me to get rid of high-end blushes because I'm like, I spent so much money on them. But if you're not using it, honestly, just let it go. Like this Becca blush and wild honey wasn't using it it's just unnecessary uh for tart blushes here i have an urban decay blush here so i didn't just get rid of drugstore stuff so i'm really happy with that and i'm really happy with what i decluttered thank you guys so much for watching if you like these videos please do not forget to subscribe to my channel also give it a big thumbs up and comment down below that lip declutter video is coming i promise i promise i promise i love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and i'll talk to you in the next video bye guys